Welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics Meeting for Thursday, May 26th. Oh, month is flying by. Oh yeah, I thought of you, the acquisition. I saw that yeah. this morning. I was like, oh, I know somebody who works there. <laughs> oh, I'm not even aware of the acquisition. Uh, Broadcom is buying VMware. Oh, know nothing about Broadcom. Uh, not a good for this. <laughs> oh, congratulations, I guess. <laughs> so do you, just, do you just hear kind of, did you hear about this earlier? I'm kind of, I mean, we are recording, but. Uh, I mean, there, there were rumors in, in the media, um, but we're both publicly traded companies. So um, I got confirmation at the same time everyone else did, um, because otherwise that would be insider trading. So that's kind of the way it works. Yeah. So no, we had no, no heads up uh, internally because that's illegal. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> the SEC doesn't like that very much, I guess, is, is the answer to that. No, I, think, I honestly, yes, I, uh, I know what's in the press release. That's, that's uh, pretty much what I know. So it should be an interesting <laughs> six to 12 months, which is the timeline okay. of the press release. And I didn't know Michael Bell had such a stake in VMware. I just had never known that. No, so. I didn't either. I, until you said it, so obviously I'm not, I'm not aware of the press release at all coming in. Yeah, I linked, I linked to the press release, um, which the press this, release, yeah. the, pre, the press release talks about. I think Michael Dell's investment in VMware. Yeah, forty-two percent of VMware. All right. Well, good luck with that, Don. <laughs> 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 it's one of those things at this point there's nothing to say because we don't know anything and it's mm -hmm. just going to be it's just going to be a distracting six to 12 months um, when you did this with pivotal right i mean you had gone through the vmware acquisition of pivotal yeah yeah also a distracting mm -hmm. six to 12 months <laughs> i think it's well, kind yeah. of life in a tech firm though if you need a hand yeah. with common let me know <laughs> Um, I'm good for now. Uh, cool. So we should we should probably get started. Um, action items and ARs from the previous meeting. So I think those are copied into the current agenda. So we have uh, um, Kevin. You were going to bring some old metrics back to the team to review. Did you get a chance to look at those? Kevin, you're still on mute in case you're trying to talk. Sorry, uh, not quite. I was I was editing the template for the review. So I actually I took a moment to uh, uh, I haven't uh, I haven't looked at them, the, but Matt uh, merged my my template yesterday, so I, I will I will move forward with that now. Cool. Um, Benad, did you get a chance to um, work on your action items? So uh, I slagged the uh, Grimoire Lab team yesterday like, evening when I was like, oh, tomorrow is a common meeting. I have <laughs> <laughs> I was like, meeting driven development right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I have a to do's from a long time ago that we may have all just given up on. But I think we reassigned them to Kevin. Did we? Okay, that's <laughs> fair. Well, that's reasonable at this point. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to uh, make you look good. So, <laughs> so I, so I, it'll take me for it'll take me longer to do them than uh, than it would would have taken you. Okay, um, so we've got the we've got the action items checked in on. Um, we'll move those up to next week's agenda. We can talk more about those next week. Um, I did look, and there are no new open issues and no new PRs. Um, so I don't unless somebody has something. I don't know, an old issue or something that you want to talk about. I don't know that we have anything in that agenda item here. I should just share my screen so that you can all see it.
Um, yeah, so I think I think the comment here is there's just uh, nothing new. So what else do we need to talk about today? Because I think we just blew through the agenda in like a minute and a half. <laughs> Maybe I should help Kevin work on the to do that he's been assigned from me. <laughs> we could take time to do that. Um, just maybe just a note, Kevin and I are starting to work on, and we don't have to do it here, but just starting to work on like defining what a metric is, defining what a focus area is, and defining what a metric model is. And the, the, the thing is, is that metrics from even just two years ago, we would have atomic metrics and composite metrics and composite yeah. metrics are fundamentally metric models really yeah and um so we're, we just we need to sort this out and kevin's been pushing on this for a long time so thank you kevin yeah like focus areas are kind of ways that we think about metrics almost within the working groups and metric models are about how we think about the metrics kind of in practice together so they're kind of two different ways of aggregating the metrics. One is focus areas that like we present in our releases, we use on the spreadsheet. And the other is metric models, which is not that at all. <clears throat> and Kevin's been pointing out that there's some confusion as to how we think about metrics, particularly composite metrics, focus areas and metrics models. We just need to sort that out. So it's just more of a comment um, than anything else. I don't know if you wanted to add anything, Kevin. I think I think that was well said, uh, and uh, I liked what you said about the. So one one of the things that I that I've been thinking about in, uh, so it's not just defining what these entities are, but also understanding what their purpose is in the group and their relationship to one another, and one of the things you mentioned about the the focus areas, is that it it really is kind of a a construct that the working groups use to to organize these they're not these focus areas aren't necessarily they don't necessarily need to be helpful for the end user of these metrics this is just a way for the working groups to organize the work we're doing uh, and in in creating kind of the so I, I have started modeling what some of this would look like and one of the things that i've kind of landed on is that one of the ways that we can help working groups coordinate with one another is actually being consistent in those focus areas and treating them very much as a this is just a way for us to organize the work we're doing and not but not just in the working groups to organize it among all of the working groups and then the uh, user specific tagging you know things that would help users understand which models and metrics were helpful for them uh, those naming conventions can be added in different places Yep. And mm -hmm. I should have, uh, I actually, I, uh, I landed on some, some modeling of what this kind of, okay. these definitions and this organization would look like, and I should have something to share by the end of the week. Okay, cool. Can I add a quick um, ask? Actually, I hate that. Can I add a, a quick request? <laughs> um, I personally get confused with the difference between a filter on a metric and some <clears throat> metrics. Um, when I was looking through the evolution, evolution group uh, metrics, for instance, like a few of them, a few of the metrics we had to find were only were filters on other metrics. So is, do they deserve to be their own metrics or are they just considered filters? I don't know. It was very confusing to me. So I would really like to throw that in the mix as well as what is a filter and do all filters do, do they you know get their own metrics or do they do we just say no it's just a filter on this other metric so you mentioned that, you mentioned filter and then you mentioned one of the other one of the other terms we use in there what was the other term i don't know filter uh, was the thing that really gets me confused sometimes oh ag oh no you didn't mention aggregator did you no i think no but that uh, is something about sub sub Submetric or something? Sub. Uh, it wasn't. It was, uh, I think. Component. 
the way I understood composite it. metrics. Yeah, we were calling them composite metrics for a time. I think not mentioned earlier. Some filters are things like time, like, and then some filters are like metrics. Right, and if like if that's okay, then cool. But I just get confused as to where do we draw the line. Like, yeah, it just was confusing to me that relationship. So I can I could share real quick with you the. Uh, uh, the definitions that that I've pulled out so far, and I did just add filter to the uh, just share that real quick, so you can. S oh, if you uh, if you give me the ability to share, I will share it real quick. Oops, and I was on mute. I unshared. It's all yours. Uh, you have that button, Kevin. Do I need to make you yep. come home? So yep, I got it. So. This is really so it's not these aren't definitions, these are really just kind of my notes on what I was thinking. Uh, so this this work defining these does have to be still kind of worked on. Uh, I will also add in there's an open issue that Georg had opened since we're talking about definitions on April of 2021, it's about defining people and like, what is a contributor? What is a submitter? Cause we kind of use those terms interchangeably. So I don't know if you want to add that, add these all to your list, but Georg kind of went down the rabbit hole a little bit on that. Yeah, issue. That, that one I think would best be handled in the metric itself. Yes. Because a contributor is a metric, right? And we have synonyms in the metric. Yeah. Do we, do we need to still have a definition of it somewhere like in a glossary? I think we had talked about glossary numerous times and I know I've, I have had this feedback in office hours from newcomers that um, the glossary is really helpful because they like weren't even, didn't even know what a working group was. Um, yeah, a lot so of that content. there are content. things that are not obvious to, to people. A lot of that content is, content is in the handbook. Um, like there's terminology. Yeah, very, there's, yeah. It, there's terminology and all kinds of stuff. So and the, the glossary is actually something I've mentioned to Yash as part of the knowledge base. So my, my hope is that when we construct the knowledge base, we will it'll be built in a way that gives us the ability to search for these terms and pull up definitions. Uh, but we, we also may end up creating a glossary text file as well that, uh, that can help with, with some of this stuff. But so it, it is something uh, uh, that is that I've that I've brought up as part of the knowledge base, uh, okay. and I and I think that would be a great place for it. Agreed. Agreed. Or in the handbook. Sorry to derail this uh, or or expand your scope of <laughs> we're in scope creep oh. now. I'm sorry, my fault. But yeah. So and once again, this these are not definitions. This is really just. These are just the notes that I've put next to them on what my thinking of them are. Or, so, so maybe it's not a very mature understanding of what a. Well, this is good. Can you share this are. with me, Kevin? Can you put it in a Google? Yeah, yeah. I'll. Uh, uh, so I actually, so I'm, uh, I'm working on the, uh, the kind of the organization chart as well, and it's going to be a, it's a matrix. Uh, and I and I think I think that matrix, that cross-cutting matrix, is going to be our best, the best way to understand the uh, the relationship between focus areas and working groups and metrics models. So I'm working on that as well, uh, and that's in this document too. And I will share uh, the whole document with you. Uh, okay, thanks. So, and anyone else who would like it. So, and with that, I will stop sharing. You're muted. And I'm now. muted. Thanks, Kevin, <laughs> for working on this. I think uh, I agree. This is something I think that's caused a fair bit of, of confusion because I think some of us are using some of these terms differently. So I I like that you're focused on getting some better definitions that we can hopefully all agree on. I think each each working group kind of does it differently. And we don't we don't quite realize it until we try to present all of the metrics and metrics models together. And we look at the we look at like the the focus area names, and we realize that the the organization like all together it just it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? There's no yeah. 
there was no structure, organized structure to it. Okay. Are there any other topics we should add to the agenda? Other things people want to talk about? That was it for me. Well, I won't object to getting extra time back. I've got plenty of stuff on my to-do list I today. Bet, I bet you I haven't do. done because I've been <laughs> distracted. So uh, maybe now I can actually get some real work done. Or just continue to be distracted. Who knows? Yeah, take yeah. your pick. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, or maybe it's Friday now. It's the new Friday. <laughs> it's the new Friday. Let's all right, then. That. I'm all right with that, all too. All right. Well, hey, thanks, everybody. Yep. And uh, we'll see you again in two weeks. All right. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.